Greetings, everyone, and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant, and this is the news from Gyeonggi Province this week. Gyeonggi Province and Bucheon City agreed to jointly pursue the goal of making the city the first in the province to receive Culture City designation. Introduced this year by the central government, the Culture City designation system aims to promote culture programs that utilize regionally characteristic cultural assets. The selection results for the first Culture City designations will be announced this coming December. Designated cities will receive national support for the development of cultural programs with regional characteristics as local cultural brands. Gyeonggi Province will provide political and administrative support for Bucheon City's pursuit of culture city designation. Bucheon City revealed its vision for becoming a city of life and culture created by citizens through the expansion of participation-based cultural programs and communication channels. Each designated culture city will receive national support of up to 10 billion Korean won over a span of five years, as well as consultation services. The Korean central government plans to designate approximately 30 culture cities by the year 2022. The announcement of the first selection results is slated for December. Since its introduction by Gyeonggi Province in April, with the aim of promoting backstreet commerce, the Gyeonggi local currency, an alternative form of payment valid within designated regions, has seen usage totaling 150% of this year's targeted amount within a six-month period, indicating a massive success. Its most popular usage was at restaurants and supermarkets. The Gyeonggi local currency is issued locally and can be used only at affiliated businesses within specified localities. The local currency comes in three different forms, cards, vouchers and a mobile app and is purchased at a discount, typically 6%. Since being introduced six months ago, Gyeonggi local currency totaling 206.6 billion Korean won has been sold through direct individual purchases. This is 150% of the amount targeted for this year and equivalent to 23 billion Korean won per month on average. Of this amount, 76.6% has been spent by users with the largest portion having been paid with local currency cards at Korean restaurants, followed by supermarkets and Western food restaurants. Local currency was primarily used at small businesses, including butchers and hair salons, proving its effectiveness in promoting backstreet commerce as intended. 아무래도 이제 대형 프랜차이즈보다는 저희 가게를 이제 방문해 주시는 이제 빈도수가 좀 높아지지 않을까. Such positive results were attributed to supplementary traditional holiday incentives and other on-site promotional events. The convenience of card and mobile payment systems is also considered to have played a part. 일반적으로 저희가 지갑에서 꺼내는 카드 비중이 많은 만큼 카드가 일반 도민들에게도 친숙하게 다가갔기 때문에 이 카드 사용에 대해서 부담스럽게 느끼지 않았고 이것이 저희 지역 화폐가 확대 발행할 수 있는 가장 중요한 원인이 됐던 것 같습니다. During September, which included the Korean Thanksgiving holiday, nearly half of the targeted local currency amount was issued, of which approximately 60% saw usage via cards. With the virtual cycle of its benefits quickly becoming a fixture in backstreet commerce, the local economic boosting effects of the Gyeonggi local currency are expected to be seen soon. After 10 years of suspension, Gyeonggi Province announced the resumption of its Gyeonggi Province History Publication Plan. After the announcement, which was made at a policy briefing held on October 30th, the province explained the details 
of the plan. The detailed plan includes the establishment of a related task force this month as well as the enactment of related ordinances and enforcement regulations early next year. 경기도 역사, 유상, 그리고 변화된 환경 속에서 경기도 문화가 담고 있는 가치를 발굴하고 보존하여 도민과 함께 공유할 필요성이 높아지고 있습니다. 오래전부터 경기도에 거주하셨던 분들뿐만 아니라 새롭게 자리 잡은 분들까지 도민 전체를 아우를 수 있는 공동체 의식도 필요합니다. With the publication of the first edition tentatively titled New Gyeonggi Province History, targeted for 2021, Gyeonggi Province set three publication mottos, youthfulness, togetherness, and usefulness. Instead of simply collecting and editing information, the province plans to employ editors of diverse ages to organize the publication from new perspectives that reflect the views of younger generations. The province also intends to create a publication that is factual and can be used in everyday life. On October 25th, the 2019 Kyunggi Fair Trade Fortnight, a two-week trade show organized to introduce fair trade goods and promote fair trade, opened at the Hanam Art Center. This sugar is a handmade product of Negros Island in the Philippines. Although more than twice as expensive as other market products, 60 to 70 percent of its profits are returned to its producers. It is a fair trade product that helps a small business in a developing country realize independence and a sustainable income. 제대로 임금도 지불하고 공정하게 우리가 음, 제품을 생산을 해내서 그거를 또 착하게 그러니까 굉장히 뭐 너무 우리가 막 너무 넘치게 하지 않고 그냥 적당하게 우리가 알맞게 이렇게 사용할 수 있는 The 2019 Kyunggi Fair Trade Fortnight is a trade show that will tour the province until November 8th. Comprised of diverse programs, this fair trade show will take place at various locations including cafes, cooperatives, schools and libraries in 15 cities of the province including the cities of Bosong, Bucheon and Shihun. 같이 상생하면서 잘 사는 게 제일 중요하니까 공정 무역을 위해서 우리 다 같이 노력하는 그런 마음을 가졌으면 좋겠고요. 공정 무역 제품을 판매하고 구입하는 게좀 쉽게 이렇게 접근할 수 있는 판로가 좀 생겼으면 좋겠습니다. On the opening day, Gyeonggi Province received International Fair Trade Village certification and became the largest fair trade community in the world. 공정 무역을 통해 만들어지는 공정한 세상을 since Gyeonggi Province enacted an ordinance to support fair trade in 2017, it has promoted fair trade through various endeavors, including marketing and education support. For the first time among the second-tier governments of Korea, an organization for small business and traditional market support was established in Gyeonggi Province. This organization, the Market Commerce Promotion Institute, will undertake one-stop support throughout business life cycles. On October 28th, the Gyeonggi Province Market Commerce Promotion Institute opened in the Suwon Convention Center. This non-profit organization will undertake backstreet commerce promotion. The former head of the Gyeonggi Province Policy Development Support Group was appointed as the president of the institute. 경기도 시장 상권 진흥원은 지역 경제 주축인 자영업자들의 해민소로서 언제나 함께할 것이며 진흥원이 여러분께 도움이 되고 지역 경제 활성화에 기여하는 마중물이 될수 있도록 열심히 노력하겠습니다. With 54 personnel working in seven teams at two locations, this institute will undertake surveys and research pertaining to local currency issuance and usage promotion, small business management stability and growth, and traditional market promotion. This institute will also operate three regional management support centers to provide traditional market merchants and small businesses with one-stop solutions to operational problems throughout their life cycles from startup to restart up. During the opening ceremony, Gyeonggi Province Governor Lee Jae-myung asserted that the province will set the standards in these endeavors.
아, 우리가 시장상권진흥원을 발족하게 된 이유는 많은 분들이 공감하시겠지만 우리 경제를 튼튼하게 하고 모두가 함께 잘 사는 사회를 만들기 위한 것입니다. 우리 경기도에서 새롭게 모범을 좀 만들어 가 보려고 합니다. Stating that the future of our economy depends on backstreet commerce, Governor Lee also declared that the province will create a society in which everyone shares their futures and hopes. Lee Aju, an intangible cultural asset recognized for her Buddhist dance expertise, was appointed as the new president of the Kyungi Arts Center. In her inauguration speech, Lee stated that she will devote herself to the advancement of the center. Lee began dancing when she was five years old. She was recognized as a master of Buddhist dance when she performed in front of the funeral procession of a deceased patriot in 1987. Designated as important intangible cultural asset number 27 for her Buddhist dance mastery, Lee was appointed as the new president of the Kyungi Art Center last month. Lee revealed that she aspires to create artwork that represents Korea. 경기도의 문화의 정체성이 뭔가를 같이 생각을 해야 될것 같아요. 그 정체성과 특징과 그 핵심이 살아 있으면서 그것을 기본으로 해서 거기서 새로운 오늘의 그 발전되는 문화 예술을 읽어 나가야 되겠습니다. Expressing her aspiration to create symbolic art that combines multiple genres, she added that such work can be created through collaboration among provincial art company members. Revealing her intention to utilize her experience as an artist, she also expressed her feeling of responsibility as the president of the Kyungi Arts Center. The two-year term of the presidency of the Kyungi Arts Center is extendable to additional terms. Lee's current term ends in September of 2021. On October 31st, Kyungi Province held a resident forum on the results of its Basic Income Public Discussion Survey. Conducted in the form of deliberative democracy, this survey took six months collecting resident opinions on basic income. The results of the survey were the subject of discussion during the forum. The forum was attended by more than 100 residents who had participated in the public discussion survey process that began in April, as well as specialists in related fields. A public discussion survey is a type of opinion assessment conducted through a process of discussion among people from different social segments. The public discussion survey was conducted in two phases. An ordinary survey of more than 2,500 residents and two-day discussion sessions among 125 residents of differing ages, genders and regions selected from among first phase survey respondents. The forum saw the presentation and additional discussion of the process and results of the public discussion survey. The results of the public discussion survey indicated a 30-point increase from the original 46% to 76% in positive opinions regarding basic income as well as survey credibility. Kyungi Province will utilize these results in the formulation of basic income policies while continuing and expanding its public discussion surveys. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.